This week on Makers and Shakers, we got the top five videos including hoverboards, ice picks, flasks, and a whole lot more. Check it. Welcome my friends to episode number one of Makers and Shakers, a show that highlights woodworkers, artists, metal workers, crafters, and makers in general. And while presenting all these fine artists, I will be enjoying a nice Manhattan. Mm. Ooh yeah, ah, it's gonna be a good show. All right, so this past week, I put out my guitar video on how I made this guitar on the CNC. I think this is my favorite project to date and I'll be making a follow-up video giving my thoughts on the project as well as what I would do different next time. In addition to that, I'll also be making another guitar just like this but without the CNC, as well as a video on how to paint a guitar with off-the-shelf rattle cans. So stay tuned for that. All right, it is time for the top five videos. First video, Back to the Future Hoverboard by all me. It's half an inch, you know, from either edge. Doesn't matter how far here. So of course we went extra long for now, but this is our width. So now we're gonna switch to the jigsaw. That's our edge. All right, so we wanna go a half inch away from that. And then I'm gonna smooth it out with the sandpaper. I'm gonna throw a little duct tape in here, just for a little bit more support. All right. That stuff was a little tougher to cut than I expected. It's really rubbery, but I mean, that's pretty good. That's our shape. One, two, test it out. Oh man, that came out great. Good stuff. It looks fantastic. Mm. Next video, DIY Dandelion Paperweights by Threadbanger. Aren't these things a quarter? I've got a couple different size containers here, so we're going to test a few of them out. Apparently the newer and the fresher the dandelion, the better. So ones that just kind of sprouted or bloomed, those are what you want. More resin, followed by a few drops of the casting liquid. Now, it didn't say to mix it, but I'm imagining that that's what I'm supposed to do. I took out my dandelion and proceeded to carefully insert it into the plastic vending vessel. It turned out that the larger vending vessel actually worked the best, and the dandelion didn't really turn out that bad. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Do peeps still use paperweights? Do paperweights even serve a purpose? All right, next video, skull ice pick. Check it. Bad asses. I'm loving all the Duresta inspired ice picks. So cool, so cool. Next up from Shallow Forge, we have how to make a wooden hip flask. Take a look. Not sure if you want to actually use this for water or whiskey, but it's a pretty sweet project. Mm -mm. And finally, the segmented yin-yang platter by my man, Carl Jacobson. Have a look. Simple one, and just laying it down on a piece of walnut, tracing around it, cutting down on the bandsaw, and it went together nicely. And I just hand sanded it. I didn't, and then I just went, on the size, I just went a little bit oversized and then sanded it down, and I kept testing it with the platter. Pulled that away from the center tapered it back a little bit, and then just a nice smooth dish all the way across. Right. Let's it absorb into the wood, and then I sand with all the grits with the mineral oil too, right up to 600, and then I'm gonna... Carl makes the best stuff. Dude just kills it in the lathe department. Kills it. Mm. Woo! I'm having a good time being back. Where'd I go? Where'd I go? 
Before we get into the next segment, I'd like to remind you that you can support this show by contributing on Patreon. One dollar a month is all I ask, and that gets you advanced viewings of my videos as well as an ad-free and extended version of this episode each week. That is right, only Patreon supporters get an extended version of this new show, Makers and Shakers. So please go to Patreon.com, there will be a link down below. All right, moving on. It is time for this week's question, and earlier today on Facebook and Twitter, I asked you to fill in the blank. My shop is no place for, here's how you responded, cleanliness, efficiency, math, carpenters 8-track tapes, not if you have an 8-track player in your shop, cars, work, the one tool I'm looking for, apparently, yeah. Sexual frustration. I'm gonna agree with that. Shenanigans, children, or the wife, unless I need help holding or lifting something, or I'm thirsty. No, dude. No. And finally, fancy shop furniture. Ugh, it's got a good color to it. Chuck, can you zoom in on that? Ugh, fine job, Chuck. Can you actually get me some more ice cubes? Thanks. All right, it is time for the Amazon tool of the week. Every week, I will show you a tool that I personally use and provide you an Amazon link to that tool. Purchasing anything on Amazon through the link provided help support this show. And today's tool is the Stanley Fat Max six foot tape measure. I got a whole bunch of these and I just, what I wanna do is I just wanna place them all throughout the shop because I can never find the damn tape measure. And so now since they're gonna be scattered all over the place, I shouldn't have to hunt so much. And check this out. I've already got a couple of these around the shop. Each one of them has this handy little keychain, so you can have this right on your belt clip. And you can just pull it out from your waist, measure your stuff, go back about your business. These things are really handy, and as, as a woodworker, I don't need any more than six foot. I have one 12 foot, but for most things that I need, I just need a couple feet, so I don't need the big honking tape measure. And these things, they fit right in your pocket, boom. Love them. They're only $3.97. Why not get a handful and just spread them all throughout the shop? So there will be an Amazon affiliate link down below and it'll lead you right to this. You don't even have to purchase this. If you purchase anything on Amazon through that link, I get a very small percentage of that sale. And what that means is you get an awesome tool that you want and I get a little bit of money, help support the show. We're gonna do this every week. We're gonna do the Amazon tool link of the week. And this week's link is the Stanley Fat Max six foot tape measure. All right, if you are new to the show, please subscribe as I also put out how-to videos here on YouTube. And you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And on my website, you'll find even more tutorials as well as plans, project kits, I've been updating the project kits lately, stickers, t-shirts, and more. That is drunkenwoodworker.com. I will be at the Detroit Maker Fair this Saturday. If you're going to be in Detroit at the Maker Fair, come find me and say hello. That is it, folks. I will be back in two weeks with another episode. Be safe, stay passionate, and make something.